Hello students. So today I am going to perform the new experiment and this experiment is based on the Norton's theorem. So basically we are going to verify the Norton's theorem on a resistive circuit. So if you look on the history, the Norton theorem was independently derived in 1926. Okay, but it was developed very nicely by Edward Lorry Norton during the period of 1898 to 1983. So, this theorem is named on the Edward Lorry Norton. Okay, so basically, this theorem is used to reduce a complex network okay, to an equivalent circuit. The equivalent circuit would be composed of a single current source with a parallel register, and the load would be connected to the parallel only. So, basically, this theorem states that in any two terminal linear network or the circuit it can be represented with an equivalent network okay which would current consist of the current source in a parallel with a register okay the equivalent circuit would be called norton's equivalent circuit okay the current source in the norton's equivalent circuit okay it would be called norton's current okay or the current short circuited and the register present in the Norton equivalent circuit it will be called Norton's equivalent register or Norton register or Thevenin's register okay so uh, basically when we will uh, do the experiment for calculation of uh, this Norton's current as I have written here for the calculation of Norton's current for making the Norton equivalent circuit we have to remove firstly the load okay the load or the register what would whatever it may be from the original circuit and then we will place a direct short connection okay or we will directly short it okay and then we will uh, determine the resultant current there okay by the help of an ammeter afterwards for the calculation of r norton or resistor norton or thevenin resistor okay we will uh, drop the voltage source or the current source in exchange of its internal re register okay or we can say that we could we would have to replace the voltage source or current source by its internal impedance okay so as we know the uh, internal impedance of voltage source is zero so we will short circuit if any voltage source would be present and we will open the circuit okay if any current source would be present okay in this case Thus, we can find out the resistance Norton, okay, or resistance Norton. Okay, there is a relation with Norton and Thevenin's theorem that the Thevenin's voltage is equal to Norton's current into Thevenin's resistor, okay. And remember, if the circuit is same, then Thevenin's resistance and Norton resistance is also same, okay. So now for, for performing the experiment, we will move on to the multisim part. So I will open my multisim now to perform the experiment. So basically I am going to uh, just make a simple circuit here. Okay. So for making the circuit, I will uh, take the DC power source here. Firstly, I would uh, take ground also. We will take uh, two to three different register now. Okay, so for taking uh, those register, I will just move on to the basic part. I will take the register. Suppose take one kilo ohm of one register and uh, just take 500 ohm register also. Suppose take two 500 ohm register. Okay, and then for the load, we will take a higher value post take a uh, 2 kilo ohm register okay now we will uh, connect the circuit we would just uh, change the value here of this voltage source also we would take just uh, 10 volt okay so this is the circuit which is which i am going to draw here right now Okay, uh, so this 2 kilo ohm load would be 
just rotate it here okay just connect this 500 ohm register here only okay just move this ground little bit lower just connect this thing here okay connect the ground to the circuit now so this is our circuit okay for performing this Norton's experiment so now what we will check we will check firstly that uh, what is the current here in the load register okay and then when we will make the Norton's equivalent circuit also in that part also we will check that what is the current in this load register if the current or voltage across this load register is same both in the original circuit and in the equivalent circuit then we can say that yes the Norton theorem holds good for the circuit okay or this statement is true for the circuit okay so for analyzing this thing uh, I will use a multimeter here Okay, so uh, now I will uh, run the circuit and I will take the value of current here. So as you can see the value of current is 1.176 milliampere. Okay, so this current must be pre present across the register in the Norton equivalent circuit also. Okay, so now I will make uh, the Norton equivalent circuit. So now for making the circuit we will firstly find out that what is the value of Norton's current okay or I short circuited okay so for that thing uh, I would just delete this load register here okay and I will short circuit this thing so I have short circuited this whole part okay I have connected it to the multimeter okay now I'll find it current okay so for that thing just run the simulation find here the current okay so the current here is 4 milliampere okay so we have to take 4 milliampere of the current as our Norton current source okay so for that thing I will make the Norton equivalent circuit so for here just take DC current here okay so the value of this Norton current which we have found is 4 milliampere 4 m okay so we have found out our uh, Norton's current now uh, we will find out uh, that what is the value of the Norton resistor or the thevenin resistor okay so for finding that thing uh, I would have to replace this voltage source by short circuit here so I will just join here uh, this circuit okay and I will find now find out that what is the register value across this point so I will just click on this ohm button on this multimeter and I will run this simulation so see the value of the register here is 833.333 ohm okay so this is our Norton's register or Thevenin's register value okay so I will uh, now take a uh, register of value 833 okay okay since the value is 833.333 so I will just uh, change the value of this register also to 833.333 okay okay so oh, sorry I have connected it in series I have to connect this thing in parallel okay so just uh, rotate this register somewhat okay it's done nicely okay so this is our Norton's equivalent circuit okay now I have to connect here load also so the load was uh, 2 kilo ohm so I will take a register of 2 kilo ohm here and here okay so just rotate it
okay i have connected it here and uh, here also i will connect this register okay so i will just change the connection here i am going to make the original circuit also here okay so this was our original circuit and here i am going to connect my power source so the voltage was 10 volt so done here nicely and here also i have connected it okay so look i have uh, reconnected my original circuit now and uh, here also i will connect a multimeter for analyzing this thing so done so now uh, check the value of current in both the circuit okay you can look out that uh, the current here in the original circuit is it is 1.176 milliampere and in the norton equivalent circuit also the current is 1.176 milliampere you can similarly check for the voltage also that the voltage across uh, this 2 kilo ohm resistor in the original circuit would be equivalent to the voltage across this not an equivalent this circuit also for this 2 kilo ohm resistor okay so uh, this was the whole part of this norton experiment okay i hope you have understood that uh, how to perform the norton theorem experiment how to verify it okay through the resistive circuit 